On the Medical Watch for you this afternoon, some positive news in the fight against a deadly cancer. Medical reporter Dina Baer is here with a new finding. Bone cancer is the leading cause of cancer-related death because it's resistant to chemotherapy. Now, University College of London researchers say they've developed a new immunotherapy that shows promising results against a bone cancer called osteosarcoma. Using a small subset of immune cells, they say they can offer an efficient and cost-effective bone cancer solution. Developers say these cells, derived from healthy donor immune cells, are safe without the risk of graft-versus-host disease. Girls are getting their first menstrual period earlier. Harvard doctors studied more than 71,000 girls to find the average age of periods getting younger, while the age when menstrual cycles become regular is getting older. The trends were strongest among racial minorities and those of low socioeconomic status. They suggest weight may play a role, excess weight impacts hormones, and can have implications for a lifetime. Dietary patterns, psychological stress, adverse childhood experiences, pollution, and endocrine disrupting chemicals also play a role. The earliest age of first menstruation was eight. Babies can talk long before we know it. A new analysis of those squeals and growls reveals significant cluster patterns. A team of researchers from the University of Alabama and the University of Texas coded infant vocalizations, revealing early language. The most prominent sounds are vowel-like utterings. Study authors recorded baby sounds for 130 infants every day for the first year of life. The babies spontaneously produced sounds and they uttered speech-like vocalizations. All babies showed vocal clustering of sounds indicative of purposeful communication. Mm. But understanding what it all means is the challenge <laughs> for all parents. <laughs> all right, thank you.